This is a camera backpack and it's a new one that we just bought. And it's a pretty big one, especially when comparing to my older one. Like, I'm clearly compensating for something. And that's why I bought this one, because this one is pretty big. It can fit like all my camera gear, all the microphones, all the sound stuff, even my gimbal, I think. I hope. Let's jump right into it. This is the lower, low, low, low pro? This is the low pro pro tracker BP450AW2. Now that's a tongue twister. It can fit my every need laptop sleeve, which is something that this backpack didn't have. And it's really useful when you think about it. Like I go to a shoot, I need to offload the footage to my computer. Oh, I didn't bring my computer. Why? Because my old backpack sucked. So yeah, now that's a, a, a cool thing. Computer and tablet, and also this little transparent pocket thing. Cool. And this pretty spacious and padded uh, pocket or space or whatever. Cool. Now. Let's go on to the main part, the main event. Like, this, I, I'm not even seeing it. You're seeing it and I'm not seeing it. So I'm hoping it's spectacular. God damn, that's a lot of space. Nice. So what we have here is just lots of camera space, but no side pocket for quick camera access. That's okay, but it would be a nice bonus. It does have this little thing. It's just a little pocket for, you know, something, maybe a gun or passport or something like that. And it has this cool water bottle system so that a water bottle can now fit neatly in here. Cool. That's something this backpack didn't really have. I mean, they tried. There's like this side pockets thing, which I, I keep a rain cover because this backpack does not have its own rain cover. But I mean, it has this pocket, which... Clearly doesn't fit my bottle. No. Back to this one. It's pretty spacious. It has lots of compartments. It's real padded, all Velcro capable and stuff. It has this little pocket thing. It's really useful for cables or random small things that can get really annoying when they're not bundled in one place. Uh, and more transparent pockets. Actually, only one more transparent pocket. This one isn't. I guess we could hide our stuff in there. You know, when going through airport security, all that jazz. SD card slots, and they're also transparent. There's already a bug crawling in here. And this is a really rugged backpack. Like, I know that this will protect my, my camera. Cool stuff. Really good zippers, good quality. Just get this freaking thing out of... There we go. In here, it has the things, and I saw that this, exactly, this thing's open, and now we can hide our straps. I think that's what they're called. Uh, these buttons are a bit hard to close. There we go. I guess this can be <laughs> not that useful, actually. Like, these buttons are really hard to close, and that's just one. I don't think this strap thing is really useful, just because of this bad button system, honestly. I don't think I'll ever use this. But the padding and the foams in here, like, it's really padded, so it would be comfortable. Also, it has this little dents in here for airflow. But yeah, overall this looks like a pretty nice backpack, especially for like tracking and uh, hiking with camera gear and water and basically everything you need for a good, honest work day. Work day, work days, I don't know. It does come with its own built-in 
Rain cover. Yeah, exactly. Now this is the rain cover. Why is it all dirty? Like, god damn, this is brand new. I guess it needs to, some rain to wash it over. But yeah, this will keep your camera gear safe and dry. It's also good that it's on the bottom of the backpack because it gives that extra layer, like a pillow of protection when you put it down accidentally with too much force. But yeah, it also has really good padded straps. I'm hoping they're as comfortable as they seem. Sternum strap, which I love, honestly. The waist strap, which has no pockets, unfortunately, but it does have some things for attaching stuff, so not that bad. And it has these little straps in here that can fit, I don't know, maybe a coat or small tripod, something like that, or anything that you really need. They are removable, so you can either take them out if you really don't want them, or you can put it anywhere you want on these straps. I'm, I'm recording, right? Holy shit. I was almost disappointed at myself. So we can remove them if we want, but these straps are a real pain in the ass to put and to take out. So I wouldn't recommend doing that like all the time. Get a setup that you like or that works for you and let it stay that way forever, basically. Oh, I forgot to mention, it also has this pocket in here, just some space, just for, you know, keys or a phone or whatever your heart's desire. But it does bring this, and this is a tripod supporter for the backpack itself. It's really good quality, really rigid, good stuff. And it goes right here. As you can see, there's a strap in here, a bigger one, and this goes right through here, and then your tripod goes in here. This is a pretty good backpack, good build quality, good size if that's what you're looking for. Uh -huh. It really protects your camera, like I know the cameras and the lenses and everything that's in here, I know it's safe. I know it's safe, like really safe. Like I could punch the shit out of this and it would be safe. But I won't, because I'm a good guy. It's great for travel, I think, because you could pack camera gear and clothes. I think that it would all fit in here if one backpack is all you can bring or want to bring. And overall, this is something that I recommend if you're looking for one backpack that can fit all your needs, this is the one. I hope you learned something new. Stay safe, stay cool, and I'll see you next time.